Uh, then there was very, very uh, ambitious plans in states and Japan uh, concerning very huge smash concepts, uh, where the diameter of the coil was over one kilometer. The plans were that they were embedded in, in the rock in order to, to get uh, sufficient mechanical supporting structure. So you, you just uh, discharge a magnet twice per day, I think that was the plan. The energy was about five thousand megawatt hours. But I think uh, during 80s, late 70s, they realized that uh, those concepts were technically maybe impossible, but uh, especially from the economical point of view, out of the question. So if you think about smaller systems uh, to store energy, we have two options. We have SMES and we have flywheels. The micro SMES is to solve the questions related to power quality. But on the other hand, flywheel is a real energy storage. You can store energy at night and uh, discharge your energy in daytime. As I said, we have two ways to store energy. And uh, the first one is this mess. And the energy which can, we can store can be given with a quite simple equation. 0.5 times inductance times the current square. So this L means the inductance of the coil and I is the coil current. Related to flywheel, the energy can be stored 0.5 times J times omega squared, where J is uh, the momentum of inertia and omega represents the angular frequency. Even though these equations are very, very simple, as you can see, uh, it, it takes, it, it demands quite uh, a lot of calculations uh, when you try to find the optimal, so, optimal solution from the technical point of view and also, of course, from the economical point of view. If you like to increase the energy in SMES, of course, we can increase the current. But if you do so, it uh, sets quite high demands for the conductor which we use and it may be so that uh, for example the cost of the conductor will become very high. The other method is to increase the inductance but if we do so we must have more turns in the coil and if we have more turns we have more conductor and of course it increases for example the costs. So it is not so easy to to weight and flywheel, of course, we can uh, rotate the system with much more higher speed, 50,000 uh, rounds per minute. And another uh, option is, of course, to increase the momentum of inertia. And that, that uh, parameter is depending on the geometry. If we increase the angular velocity, the stress is which will be posed to the flywheel, will become quite high. So we cannot rotate it uh, to, to very extreme high frequency. This is uh, so-called micro SMES. It is uh, purposed for power quality applications. We have some commercial SMES units which are based on niobium titanium technology. But this magnet has been made from uh, niobium 3 thin. So that means that we don't have to cool it down with liquid helium, so we can use efficient cryocoolers, uh, which cool the magnet down to 10K. Here you can see the, the cryocooler unit, uh, which goes down to the magnet. The cost of the magnet, 100,000 euros. Here you can see the uh, SMES superconducting energy storage. And here are the current terminals, there are two of them, uh, from which the current is feed it through the magnet. The magnet is consisting of uh, 11 pancakes made of bismuth. In here we have HTS leads. And of course, obviously the HTS leads has to be cooled down to maybe 20 k. This coil can store about as much energy as 5 kilojoules and it's inserted into the cryostat in where it is cooled down to 20 kelvins. This is a DC system as you can see, there are plus and minus terminals in the top of the cryostat. The SMES to improve the energy quality. Then you need the AC-DC and DC-AC 
converters in both sides. The operation temperature, of course, will be ranging from 20 to 77K, according if you are using, I don't know, YBC or Cotec conductor, as soon as they will become available, or magnesium diagoride, so you will be in that regime uh, near 20 or 26 Kelvin. 